Hello beautiful ladies and handsome gentlemen. We are the representative from SMK Sultan Ismail Malaysia for Mayo, Malaysia International Young Eventers Olympiad 2022. Hence my team, me Iskandar Adam, Rolin Zahan, Sofia Ardiana and Iskandar Danish are proud to present to you Quack Strato. Quack Strato is an abbreviation for copper extraction. CU is the chemical element for copper, whereas extracto represents the Portuguese word for extraction. We are confident that Quack Strato technology will be a significant answer to the world's e-waste crisis. Even so, before things get engaging, let's first look at our sources of inspiration. The world is soon going to be hit by a tsunami of e-waste, the United Nations warned. In 2018, the world generated 48.5 million tons of e-waste and increased by 10.5% in 2019, producing 53.6 million tons of e-waste. For perspective, this weighed as much as 350 cruise ships placed end-to-end -to, -end to form a line 125 km long. According to the UN's Global Statistics Partnership, GESP, it is anticipated that global e-waste will soon reach 74 million tons by 2030. Next, e-waste is generally made up of non-renewable resources such as copper. Copper is the best non-renewable resources as it can be used for infinite times without a loss in performance. Therefore, we believe Quack Tractor will be the next big thing. Now, let's start our experiment. First step, crush 10 grams of PCBs into smaller pieces. Second step, 100 ml of sodium hydroxide is heated up until 60 degrees Celsius. Third step, dissolve the crushed PCB into sodium hydroxide for 30 minutes. Fourth step, filter the solution using filter paper. First, we prepare the leaching solution by measuring 50 cm cube of ethanoic acid and 50 cm cube of hydrogen peroxide. Then we mix the ethanoic acid and hydrogen peroxide into the picture and add 10 cm cube of sulfuric acid into the solution. Then we stir the solution by using a glass rod. After that, we pour the leaching solution into the picture that contains the pre-treated PCB sample. We heat the mixing solution up to 40 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Filter the solution using filter paper to separate between the filtrate solution and the leached PCB sample and then dry the PCB sample. After that, set up the electrode deposition cell by connecting the carbon and copper electrodes to the power supply with the connecting wires to complete the circuit. Then, put the carbon and copper electrodes into the solution until half of the carbon electrodes are immersed into the solution. Turn the switch on for a few minutes. From this experiment, we can conclude that our experiment is a success because reduction of copper occurs on the cathode electrode and oxidation of copper occurs on the anode electrode. Therefore, copper is extracted. This activity showing that e-waste has high potential to be a secondary source of copper. Traces of metal has successfully deposited on the carbon electrode shows that extraction of copper from PCB using ethanoid acid and hydrogen peroxide by electrode deposition method was feasible. At the beginning of the experiment, we cut the PCB into small pieces to increase the total exposed surface area to increase the rate of collision between sodium hydroxide molecule and exposed resin molecule of the PCB. Thus, rate of effective collision will increase. Subsequently, the rate of reaction increase. We heat the PCB with sodium hydroxide solution at high temperature to increase the kinetic energy of the sodium hydroxide molecule and expulsive resin molecule of PCB. In the same way, the rate of collision will increase and thus more effective collision will occur between the molecules. As a result, the exposed resin will of PCB will soften and lose adhesion faster and thus spread off faster. After that, we apply leaching process to extract the solute from pre-treated PCB. The solute are made out of metal ions, which is the copper ion, zinc ion, nickel ion, and silver ion. 
Same thing, we also heat the PCB with the leaching solution at high temperature to increase the rate of reaction. Before we end our experiment, electro deposition, which is also known as electro plating, is done. The copper electrode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, while carbon electrode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. The leachate solution is contained of different types of ions, which is copper ion, zinc ion, nitro ion, and silver ion. At the anode, which is the copper electrode, copper is ionized to copper 2 ion, as copper is a reactive metal. While at the cathode, which is the carbon electrode, copper 2 ion in the solution is selectively discharged as its inode value is more positive. As a result, the copper electrode will corrode, while brown solid, which is the copper, will deposit. For the sake of our next generation's quality of life, we hope that our initiative will significantly reduce pollution. Additionally, we believe that our effort will help to lower the quantity of e-waste generated. Consequently, it will be possible to minimize the carbon footprint and the impact of global warming. This will help maintain the sustainability of our environment. In the future, we look forward to employ green chemicals at the cloud peak. Next, boost concentration of sodium hydroxide and leaching solution. And lastly, work with large corporations such as Samsung. That's all from us. Thank you.